Now, if you've been to any one of my uh, previous webinars about AdWords or you've read any of the top tips that I send out, you'll know that I've been scathing of broad matching in, in AdWords. About oh, two years ago, 18 months to two years ago, Google changed the whole way broad matching worked. And as far as I was concerned, they killed broad matching dead in its feet. The way broad matching used to work was that your keywords would match a search query if your keywords were in that search query in any order. What they did um, about two years ago was they broadened it. They called it extended broad match. And what they did to it was it would match on maybe just one of the words in your key phrase. And it didn't even have to be just one of the words in your key phrase. It could be a word that was similar in meaning to one of the words in your key phrase. And the classic example I used to show everybody was um, I typed in cat litter into Google and I was seeing ads being served up for dog leads, you know, and that was a broad match gone wrong. Google had decided cat, dog, cat supplies, dog supplies, and it had come up with dog leads as a perfectly acceptable match. And obviously that would be a complete waste of time for the person trying to sell dog leads. And there are lots more examples like that. Now what they've done is uh, frankly put broad match back as a decent alternative. They've introduced what's called the modifier. I'm going to tell you exactly what that is first, but the first thing to tell you is if you're not in the UK or Canada, you won't have access to it. So for once, rather than roll it out to the States, they've decided to test the beta over here in the UK and over in Canada. So if you're in those two countries, you have access to the broad match modifier. What is it? Well, it allows you to have a more targeted broad match experience. What it does is it actually gives you broad match as it used to be two years ago, or at least it gets a close approximation to it. What it does is it allows you to lock on certain of the keywords in your broad matching. So in other words, if I take the example I said earlier, cat litter. Now I might be happy to uh, vary the words litter into different variations of litter, but I may say I definitely want the word cat in, in the search term. And so what you would do is you'd lock on the word cat and you'd say to Google, I want cat to be there, but as far as litter is concerned, you can go and use your very broad, broad matching to give me um, searches that I'll match to. And that's very useful because that's now allowing you to, um, if you were to probably say lock all of the words in your key phrase, you'd be telling Google, I want all of those words to appear in the key phrase. I want them to appear more or less as they are. It allows plurals and, and little extensions like that, but more or less as they are, and they need to be in the, the key phrase. And that's more or less how broad match used to be. So it's, 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 it's tightened it up. Um, so it's giving you the access to a, a significant bigger proportion of the traffic than exact and phrase will give you, but it's also giving you now control over what words you want to see in the search phrases. So how do you lock a word? Well, it's the reverse to negative keywords. You remember how you used to have to put a negative sign in when you were typing in a negative keyword? Well, now it's a plus sign if you want a particular word to be locked. So in the case of cat litter, I'd put a plus sign, it'd be plus C-A-T, and then space litter. And that would be the keyword phrase I would put into Google. So what it does is it only matches, as I said, on close variants. So if I'd locked on the word cat, it would allow cats, for argument's sake, because it's just a plural. Um, uh, another way of probably explaining it, you, you know my... Um, favoritism for talking about the shoe shop example is if I'd locked on the word shoes it wouldn't show my adverts for footwear but if I was using plain old broad match footwear most certainly would be a match for shoes so that there's a classic example for how to use the broad match modifier and that really is a significant step forward uh, it shows that Google have listened to all the complaints about broad match and they've, they've met us halfway and they brought in this broad match modifier so it's in the UK and Canada, it's under beta. Keep an eye out, I'm sure it'll be coming to your country soon.